the ongoing celebration of Yoga Day with a focus on understanding how yoga contributes towards achieving peace and harmony. The theme for today's conversation is Yoga for Peace, a theme that highlights yoga's comprehensive scope and finds resonance across regions. It becomes particularly interesting that scientific method was actually very well developed in ancient India in a way that is not just wholly applicable today, but may well be what leads us out of a world of strife, struggle, suffering, and conflict. Whether we do asanas or pranayam or meditation or mudras, pandhas, kriyas, and various techniques of yoga, this is the goal that you should be able to go into deep silence and go to the source from where all thoughts arise. Yoga reunites us and re-inspires us to connect to the essence of who we are, which is peace. The yoga gives us the tools that we can approach those things that we're passionate about, that, that we really care about in the world from a place, a, a centered place, a place of peace. The perfect storm can happen to anybody, and what you do with it and how you react and recover to it is what truly makes the difference. And that's just caveating back and leading into how a positive outlook is needed. Everything is Maya, like there is the, the, the entire journey of life is to understand yourself. That's more important, like it's, it's the difference between who is the dreamer and the dream. I decided to become a teacher for the deaf community. I am really grateful to the center for providing interpreters. I felt like I was able to connect with my body and with my breathing, and there were so many different aspects of yoga that I was able to do. Yoga is for everybody. Meditation is for everybody, and you know, I believe that everybody should, you know, promote and spread the peace. Yoga for me um, has really made a better me. 